Hello my makeup loving friends. So as some of you might know, I am, well, <laughs> I'm in a bit of flux uh, where I am, I'm currently on leave in Ireland, but I'm going back to the UK to pack up all of my stuff because I've got a job back in Ireland. <laughs> It's all a little bit complicated but weirdly when I came back to Ireland for my leave because I knew I was going to be gone for about three months I took all of my makeup with me <laughs> because I was like that's the most valuable thing I own it's, and it's the thing that makes me happiest because I was like well while I'm sick and on leave I should have things that I enjoy. So I brought all of that with me but now I have to go back for two weeks just to work my notice, pack up my things, etc. So I am now left with, I obviously want to bring some makeup over to play with, so, uh, but I can't bring too much over because there's only so much room and I have to bring all of my other stuff with me. It's amazing. I've been there for two years and I managed to accumulate so much stuff. So I'm going to talk about today what it is that I'm bringing with me to the UK. So I'm trying to keep it as minimalish as I possibly can but you know what I'm like you've seen my makeup collection it the words minimal does not describe the makeup that I have semi problematic but I'm gonna start off first with just the very very simple stuff start off with the face Um, I am bringing my Urban Decay Urban Defense primer I've talked about this before in a project pan it's part of why I'm bringing it it is in my project pan so it's gonna make my life a lot easier to have that with me Um, I am also going to bring my Urban Decay All Nighter foundation in the shade 05 again it is part of my project pan so I'm bringing that with me if I could finish that even while I'm there that would be amazing I am also bringing my NARS concealer in the shade Chantilly. It suits me. I don't really tend to have a lot of concealers and stuff because once I've opened them, I will try and use that as, as quickly as I can. I'm not, I'm not great with that sort of thing. Some people are really into foundations and concealers. I'm more into lip stuff and eye stuff. Um, I am also bringing my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm not really gonna go anywhere without that. I am also bringing my, it is, it is here underneath all of my stuff, uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundation in the shade Minx because I use that to contour. I find it very good. I've got it in like TK Maxx for barely anything. I think it was like £16.99 so I was like, oh, this is great. This'll, this'll do for contour. Um, I am also, no, I'll do my brows first. I am bringing my MAC uh, eyebrow pencil in the shade Spiked. Again, it's part of my project pan. If you've seen that video, I don't know if I've put that, no, I haven't put that up yet. And I might put this video up before that. Whatever, you'll see it at some point. Uh, so I'm bringing that. I am bringing my Take Home the Bronzer in the shade Oliver because they, this is probably my favourite bronzer. Full stop. Love it. I am also bringing, in terms of a blushes, two colour pops. Uh, one in the shade Drop of a Hat and one in the shade Prenup. So one is more of a shimmery kind of a goldy peachy and then another one is just like a more matte pink because I figure it gives me some amount of versatility. In terms of highlighters I'm bringing two Colourpop highlighters with me. One is on the cusp and the other one is fire. So one is a little bit paler and this is more gold toned. Again these are these are part of my panning process. I'm bringing my Naked Skin Colour Corrector in the shade Green just for if there's any breakouts. It's always handy to have. I also tend to use this all the time and I don't think I talk about it that much. I, I You can see I really do use it an awful lot. It is Max Factor Cream Puff Press Powder in the shade Translucent. I just kind of brush it over my face when I'm done. Just I feel like it finishes it a little bit more. I, I don't really know how to to kind of explain it any more than that. In terms of eyes, uh, this is not a tricky one because, well, like we'll, we'll start with the eyes now. I am bringing my Bad Gal Bang uh, Lash Bag Benefit. I wouldn't be surprised if I finish that up while I'm there. So I'm also gonna bring a very small little Urban Decay, I think it's the Troublemaker mascara, which I haven't tried before, but like I can, I can see what that's like. I am also bringing some, uh, what you call it, uh, eyeliners so that I can use for tight lining, etc. So 
I am um, sorry I'm just like sorting them out here so I'm bringing this dual sided eyeliner pencil so one has like a black color which is the shade zero and one has a brown which is in the shade demolition so I'm bringing that's great for tight lining and like I mean brown works with everything I also have who was this by bourgeois it's an old one but we won't speak of that and it's in a sort of a greeny shade which works pretty well I hear people um, I also have an Urban Decay 24-7 uh, eyeliner in the shade Woodstock which is a pink because I think that'd be fun and an Urban Decay um, eyeliner in the shade Radium which is blue because again I think that'd be fun if you've seen me before um, I tend to use two eyeliners if I'm trying to do a wing I say trying because I'm not very good at it I use the Super Cat by uh, Soap and Glory just to kind of etch out what it is that I'm doing and then I use the Urban Decay razor sharp eyeliner to go over it to give it that more kind of depth of color so I'm bringing those with me now we're on to lips and no I haven't forgotten eyeshadow I'm going to show that to you in a little bit um I I'm going to talk first about my lip liners that I'm bringing with me I'm bringing three um just because I find that lips if you change your lips you can change a whole look so I'm bringing uh, my Lime Crime Velveteen's lip liner in the shade girl because it's a nice kind of a nudish color uh, my Urban Decay um, lip liner in the shade I think it's like 69 yeah 69 and then my Buxom um, lip liner in the shade Stakeout because it's quite a dark brown then in terms of actual lip products that I'm bringing with me bear with me I, I'm bringing four one is the dose of colors in the shade warm and fuzzy it's this beautiful it's like the color of my natural lips but just a little bit better so i really i really like that uh one is a uh, dose of colors i think it's in the shade irreplaceable is it yeah irreplaceable and it is this just fab like red so i'm really i'm really there for it this is a uh, melt liquid lipstick in the shade melancholy i'm really into liquid lipsticks at the moment and um it is just this really deep powerful sort of a grayish purple i don't know how to describe it i love it i really really like it then i'm also bringing this which is my linda halberg fantastic in the shade garnet um it's it's quite a nice sheer lipstick and it's very moisturizing so i figured i'd bring that with me as well Whew, we're, we're nearly there guys sorry i have so much stuff on my desk um i am bringing my anastasia beverly hills norvina pro pigment palette partly because i still have to finish uh doing my one palette three looks with this and i figure i should bring this with me and there's loads of options for for things to do with it and finally i am bringing one more palette with me um but it's a huge one it is a self-made palette with a sydney grace and it has just a ton of eyeshadows in it and i love it uh, i got a lot of these recently with their uh, christmas in july sale so there's like the mountain bundle there's the raspberry kiss bundle um then there's like oh no this is the raspberry kiss bundle this is like a sort of a my own version and and Sydney Grace's own version of the Lolita palette by Kat Von D because if you've watched for a while you know I'm not supporting her then they're kind of duo chromes they have there those three and then the rest are just up here that these were stuff I kind of already had mixed in with other things so I'm planning on using that in general because I have a lot of kind of more nudish colors that I could use for work but I'm also thinking of doing a palette bingo with it while I'm in England because I do want to still keep filming because it's a lot of fun. So yeah. Oh, and how could I forget? Because I'm the worst. That's how. Uh, my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I always forget about it because I'm like, well, of course I'm going to use it. Like it's going to get used. So yeah, I'm bringing that with me. So those are all the things that I'm bringing back with me for the two weeks to the UK and will be then bringing back to me, back with me to Carlo when I move on the 25th. Let me know what you think. Um, am I insane? Yes. Do I have too much makeup? Yes. Am I going to get rid of, uh, rid of any of it? Eh, probably not, but I do plan on planning a few things in the next couple of months. 
so yeah let me know what you think feel free to like comment subscribe whatever you feel like doing and i'll see you in a while bye